Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. The CRTC hearing about Bell's takeover of Astral Media has been happening this week, and it's been completely fascinating, even outside policy wonk circles. At the same time, the Virginia round of negotiations for the Secret of Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement is taking place now, and a bunch of you used our brand new tool found at OpenTheTPP.net to have your say. First, the TPP. If you've been following the Stop the Trap campaign, you know that the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP, is a multi-nation trade agreement crafted behind closed doors that could mean fines for internet users, blocked websites, online privacy violations, and more. To make matters worse, the US Trade Representative recently told public interest groups, including those in the Stop the Trap Coalition, that their already meager stakeholder presentation time, a completely inadequate substitute for real public participation, had been cut down from 15 minutes to 8. After some outcry, to say the least, from public interest groups, they bumped it up a bit to 10 minutes. That's 10 minutes on the Sunday of a 10-day negotiation session. That's 10 minutes of designated time for us to express our concerns to delegates over what can become the most powerful trade agreement with the most restrictive rules for the internet of the 21st century. But we came up with a plan to make sure your voices were heard. We launched a new tool at OpenTheTPP.net for you to send in your comments about the TPP's internet trap and get them projected across the walls where negotiations are taking place. Members of the Stop the Trap Coalition are in Virginia for the negotiations, armed with projectors and your voices. You can keep adding your comments at OpenTheTPP.net. If we all speak up, we can stop this extreme agreement from going through. On the Canadian front, we're keeping up the charge against Bell's takeover of Astral, which would create unprecedented media concentration in Canada. We've talked about this a lot before, but in short, Bell's power grab means fewer voices and content choices, higher prices, and other threats to our communications freedom, which is why Canadians have been taking a stand at stopthetakeover.ca. As I mentioned before, the hearing so far has been ridiculously interesting. We put a link in the video description for you to watch it, or you can follow it on Twitter by searching hashtag CRTC, which looks like this. A good chunk of the hearing has been focused on competition and choice, and the CRTC has been aware by numerous groups, including smaller companies like Eastlink, larger companies like Rogers, and some citizen and consumer groups involved in the Stop the Takeover Coalition like Option Consommateur, that as it stands, Bell's proposed expansion is hugely problematic. Anti-competitive behavior has been discussed, strangleholds on the news media have been discussed, care for Canada's cultural and democratic assets, and lots more. And in his opening address, CRTC Chair Jean-Pierre Blais made comments about the public interest and the importance of competitive balance. In addition to that, the CRTC, at least in its communications, seems to be trying to emphasize affordable access and citizen issues more strongly than narrower industry-defined priorities. That's the result of Canadians from across the country staying engaged and speaking up. We now have to make sure that the CRTC isn't just adopting our language, but is also prepared to act. They have to know that they can't placate us without delivering substance. We at OpenMedia.ca, of course, will do our very best to keep you posted. For the internet, this is Lindsay with OpenMedia.ca, signing off.